The minimum ventilation calculator contained within the Poultry Formula map is intended to provide poultry producers with an estimated minimum ventilation rate they should be using during cold weather to control moisture based on inside-outside conditions and bird water usage. To use the calculator, you click on minimum ventilation. A message comes up describing basically how the app works. The target with the minimum ventilation app is to control moisture. The fact is that 90-95% of the time what we're trying to do in a poultry house is to control house moisture levels, not CO2, not oxygen. If we don't control moisture and our humidity is too high, we get wet litter, ammonia, we get paw damage, we get increased susceptibility to disease. If we ventilate too much and our humidity is too low, we get dusty conditions, which again can contribute to disease, as well as we're going to have an excessive heating cost. So what we put in first is our outside conditions. Let's say it's 32 degrees and the humidity is 50%. We hit done. The first thing we learned is the absolute humidity, how much moist there is in every thousand cubic feet of air. In this case, when it's 32 degrees and 50% humidity, we know that for every thousand cubic feet of air we bring in, we're going to bring in 2.2 ounces of water. Next, we put in our inside conditions, and let's say it's about 80 degrees, the humidity is 60%, we hit done, and we learn that inside the house, the absolute humidity is 15.2 ounces of water for every thousand cubic feet of air in the house. So for every 1,000 cubic feet of air we exchange, we're going to get rid of 13 ounces of water, and that's basically how the app works. We put in the moisture removed, and what is that? That is how much water the birds have drank in, um, in a given day. Let's say yesterday they drank 1,200 gallons. We hit done. We put in our minimum ventilation fan capacity. Let's say we're using 236s for minimum ventilation. Each move 10,000 CFM, so we say, okay, 20,000 CFM. Hit done, calculate. And we come up with a minimum ventilation rate of about 8,206 CFM. That is how much air we need to exchange to get rid of the birds the water are adding each day. That would be for our two 36-inch fans, they'd run 123 seconds out of 300 or 41% on time. We can go back and change the outside condition. Let's say if it was a much warmer day, let's say 60 degrees and 50% humidity we had done, the absolute humidity goes up because the warmer it is outside, the more moisture it can hold. The more moisture it can hold outside, the more we have to ventilate because the difference between inside and outside is going down. So to get rid of that 1,200 gallons of water, now our ventilation rate has to be about 12 thousand CFM. Our fans need to be on about three minutes, uh, 180 seconds out of 300. We can go back. We said let's change our target humidity. Let's say we want the humidity lower. House is maybe a little wet. Let's say well, let's ventilate more. Let's drop that humidity so we pull more moisture out of the little litter. And we put in 50 percent. Done. Calculate. And now the ventilation rate goes up to 17,000 CFM. Our fans have to be on 255 under out of 300 seconds, so they almost have to be constantly operating. Again, this app provides a producer with a starting point. It's not precise. There's a lot of variations that go into it. Ideally, this a producer would use the app again to get a starting point and then monitor the humidity each morning and make the necessary adjustments. If it's getting a little too high above their target, increase it. If it's dropping significantly below their target humidity, then they can decrease their minimum ventilation rates. We hope you enjoy using the app. If you have any questions, please let us know.